Welcome back. I'm Rosa. Um, well, today we're going to make a dessert. I feel like baking. So I'm going to make a, a brownie. It's going to be a little twist in it. It's going to have some cookies and chips. It's going to be nice. So for this recipe for the brownie, you're going to need a half a cup of chocolate chips, three quarter cups of cocoa powder, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, um, one quarter teaspoon of salt, two eggs, and one and one fourth cup of butter, unsalted butter, and some Oreo cookies. You could break them up into pieces. That's what I like to do. And uh, also an 8x8 eight eight pan. And then just put some parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you could use aluminum foil too. But I like parchment paper. It doesn't, you know, make mess. So now, we're going to start preparing these brownies. Well, we're first going to take the butter. And we're going to add the cocoa powder in here. And that's three quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. And then we're going to put the sugar. We're going to add the sugar. It's a lot of sugar. But we're going to put this in the microwave to melt it. And we're going to put this in the salt. Now, this is going to go in the microwave for 30 seconds, and you just have to keep mixing it until the butter melts, and you're going to make it into a, it's going to get consistent, it's going to get nice and warm. So let's go to the microwave. So like, this is a 1000 watt microwave, I'm going to start with 25 seconds, just to test it out. You take it out, do a little mixing. See, the butter's already melting. Just mix all this together. This is basically to make the brownie, the brownie mix. See? It's almost there. It takes a little time until the chocolate fell out. You can mess, mess with my chocolate. Making sure that it stays in here, all of it. See, this is pretty good. This is a good consistency. See. It keeps flying out of my bowl because this bowl is a little small, but I got it. Everything stays in there. Okay, so let's put this on the side. And the next step is, uh, we're going to mix the vanilla and the eggs. So, crack two eggs. Don't leave egg. Put that in the sink. And then the second egg. Okay. And then we add some vanilla to this. Yeah, we do a little mixing. A little pork. Okay. Smells, the vanilla smells so good, I love vanilla. Fold 
that sugar that we added is going to give it a nice crust on the top. You get nice and chocolate. Just like that nice brown, brownie, like the flaky thing on the top of the brown. You could add any kind of things to this. If you don't want to add Oreos, you could add nuts, walnuts, um, peanuts, whatever. Okay, add the rest of the flour. Just fold it in. That's all. That's one thing about baking. You have to be patient. Everything takes patience. It's not like you oh, mix it in there and hurry up. Mm -hmm. If you want your brownies to come out nice and moist and smooth, you take your time. Everything takes time. That's why I'm good at gardening and stuff, because I'm one of those people that could wait. Like, when I grow my tomatoes, I don't expect them to come out, you know, the next day. You wait. And you get some nice, beautiful tomatoes. Just like today. You make this brownie. I should have used a bigger bowl, but it's already in here. So I don't want to go through all that. It's already in here, so I don't want to go through all that. You're going to add the eggs into the batter with the vanilla. Okay, all nice and mixed. Now we're going to add half a cup of chocolate chips. I use semi-sweet. Fold them in. Fold them. So they can be nice and evenly distributed to the whole, all of the brownies. Now that's basically it. This is your brownie mixture. Now we're gonna put it inside this pan. So first you're gonna put only half of it because we're going to put the cookies in the middle of it. So we put this much. That should be good. It's going to be nice thick brownies. Put it evenly through the pan. Smells so delicious. If you're a chocolate lover, this is for you. It takes time. I mean, I know it's easy as you just go buy a box and add the ingredients and put it in the oven. But this makes it more personal. You know? Make something you did yourself. This is sweet enough. Now, take some Oreo cookies and we just add them to the batter. So, whenever I chop them up like that, there's no right way or wrong way to do it. Just add your cookies. And so, hopefully, every bite will have Oreo cookies in it. more on this side. This is what you do when you have extra Oreos. 
I mean, in a lot of families, you don't have extra Oreos, but we don't eat lots of snack foods like that. So this is a treat. Now you take the rest of the batter. Oreo cookie now. Top it off. We're gonna put Oreo cookies on top of it, and we're gonna put some Oreo cookies on top with some chocolate chips. Okay. Make sure you get all the batter in here. Nothing's to waste. Let's see, I think there's a little bit more left in here. I don't like wasting food. Every little bit counts. Okay, so now we're gonna add some, mm. a couple of chocolate chips. Just put it on the top. Just melt like, like a few of them. Uh, it is like chocolate heaven. Then some cookies on the top. And then you put this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes until it's done. You just put a little fork, I mean, a toothpick in it to test it, and if it comes out clean, it's done. So, here it goes. Once it's done, I'll come back and show you, see how it came out. Hi, I'm back. Well, the 35 minutes already passed, and I let 15 extra minutes to let it cool down, and the brownies are all done. Beautiful. So, let's get this reveal. Now we're going to plate it. I'm going to just take it right out of the pan, see? One good thing about Nice clean pan. I'm gonna just rinse it out. Crispy top. I'm gonna cut a piece and make a nice dessert plate. Hold on. There you go. Oh, this is very chocolatey. Mm. Oh, it's so chocolatey. If just like. Let me get a nice spatula. I want the pieces. Okay. Garbage. Okay. I just have this one as extra in case there's somebody else. Okay. So we're going to take some ice in our ice cream. Because it's mostly about the brown medium. This is like the milk. I don't drink milk. So this is a replace the milk. Dessert with 
I'm going to have my husband taste it to see if he likes it. So my husband's going to come and be the taster. He's put my camera back, but yeah, he can be my taster too. approved by my husband so if you guys like just press the like button subscribe and we're going to have the recipe at the end of the video so if you guys try it and you think it's good just give me uh, some little comments on the bottom and tell me how you liked it okay thank you